this is for Year 12 Methods of Counting Chapter 4 for I question 2B. I need to put it into turning point 4, but I've got to use the axis of symmetry. Okay, the axis of symmetry, because the x component of a turning point will give you the equation of the axis of symmetry, and the x component of a turning point is minus b over 2a. In this case, it's going to be, if I rewrite this, minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. b is negative 2, so 2 over a is minus 3, so minus 6. So negative 1 third is the x coordinate of the axis of symmetry. Um, I'd like to complete the square, because completing the square will put it into this coordinate. To complete the square, I need to take out a common factor of negative 3. So that will turn to x squared. That will turn to positive 2 thirds x, and that will turn to negative 7 thirds. A half of 2 thirds is 1 third. 1 third squared is 1 ninth, minus 1 ninth, minus 7 thirds, which is 21 ninths. negative 3 x plus 1 third squared minus 21 on 9 which is negative 3 x plus 1 third squared plus 21 on 3 which should be 7 minus 3 x plus 1 third squared plus 7 except I should double check my calculations back here that's negative 22 there make that negative 22 which makes that 22 which changes our value there so what have we got um, sorry that's 22, so that's 22 on 3, which would be the same thing, 22 on 3. So what do I need to find? It's fresh tenth by number 2 and only one other way. Okay, so I have a parabola that goes to a negative 1 third and goes up to 22 on 3. And it is an upside down parabola that looks like this. Therefore, the maximum and minimum value of the range. Well, the maximum value of the range is 22 on 3, so the range goes from negative infinity to 22 on 3. Infinity. So the maximum value of the range is 22 on 3.